I am late. I am very late to this. Hello, everyone. Good evening. That's a spade today. Work tonight. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm I'm very late. And I'm in a very old public avatar right now. But I'm in eight because of reasons. I'll get to it. But this is Tessa's feed. It's Sunday, Sunday, October 27th, 2024. Day 301. Squish that cat. And look at that. Tara did it. He, he pulled off the Toe of Satan challenge yesterday. He did it. But he wants me to go do some explanation things about it. But first, I'm very late getting to this because at the time of recording, it's... It's 6.30. It is 6.30 p.m. right now. Sorry I'm so late. Um, Tara had to spend the last hour and a half working on the TV remote. Um, yeah. There we go. Yeah, he spent the last hour and a half working on the TV remote because... Lily and the kids broke it. Not intentionally, I mean, accidents happen. But it was bro it's broken. So he had to come up with a solution. And unfortunately, it would seem that modern TVs don't like infrared, um, infrared remotes anymore. They didn't even connect an infrared remote to it, so you have to find a Bluetooth remote. So, we, we rigged up a temporary solution, so next weekend, I... We're gonna have to go over and purchase a new Bluetooth smart TV remote. I don't like that's how they do things, but that's how they do. There's... <laughs> No real getting around it. What? What can you do? But anyway, moving on to it, I am in one of these spookality, uh, what do they call it? Um, no case worlds. Yes, I went to, well, I, I went to Midnight Rest. You can find it in the spookality showcase during the Halloween events of VR chat. And moving on to. Wow, naturally, I'm gonna kind of, I kind of want to take a look around here. I briefly did before I got on here, but I was like, "Oh, I'm really late. I need to hurry up." So I had to put on something really old but really fun. So here we are. But there are a lot of things. Can you go in here? You can go in here. You can go past the cob. Be. Um. I'm trying to figure out whether or not these are PS1 or PS2 graphic cobwebs. I think. Uh, yeah, I'd say PS2. PS2 graphics. But that's okay. The PS2 was like one of the best systems ever, the best video game systems ever made. So I have zero complaints about that. But it's just a graveyard with a lot of chocolates here. Uh, I, oh yeah, there's a, isn't there like a thing up here? The one thing I don't like that people put in their worlds has got to be the colors. But there is this, um... Concussion laden bird. I think this bird has a concussion, but what we're gonna try to do, uh, I'm gonna try to put you. There we go. That were, uh, maybe a little further back. Hang on. There we go. Now I can get folks. Uh, I'll put you there. There you go. You can come with us. You can come with us. In, uh, in this world, there. More worlds have pool tables. I am okay with that. I'm not very good at billiards, though. I need to get better, but I don't have access to a pool table. I wouldn't mind having one of those really itty-bitty ones. Just for, for giggles. And there... There are tents in here. What are, there are tents. And water. Oh, can you get in the water? You cannot get in the water. You can go about this far in the water. Which, I'd say, huh, just a little over ankle deep, but just fine, it's fine. More jack-o'-lanterns. I'm still kind of bummed out. Yeah, get in the water. Wait, wait, yep, this is as far as it goes. Can't even go knee deep. Oh well. Maybe they'll change things. Is this a mushroom? Mushroom? You can't grab the mushroom, though. Ooh. I know people who really like mushrooms. Lily is one of them. Lily loves mushrooms. What we call Ew. Well, then again, if you have vids, it's understandable, but... My children, our children have outgrown the, the need of... 
pacifiers. There's this. This feels out of season, but I'm okay with it. You beat people with it too. You. Well, they've been bad when they've been bad. I don't know. The, the, like many places, it has the uh, the uh, coffee maker where you can make yourself some espresso. I gotta learn that thing a little more because the most I can do is espresso. It's got a hat and a, a Rubik's cube. I don't know how to do a Rubik's cube. I don't have that brain power. But that's because my brain power goes elsewhere. I don't know if it's anywhere important, but it goes somewhere. And... Got a tiara. We got... A halo. There we go. I'll be good. And some off uh, once, but I already put on a halo. And... I remember I had another world that put these on. These were fun. But... There we go. Apparently, uh, this will do. A lot of people make these TVs right here that they put them kind of at an angle. I don't have a problem with it. It's nice. But it is, it is dark in here. Oh, and a shower. Hang on. Let's see. Oh, oh, yep. Hey, look at that. I'm going to move out. Nothing. Move back in. Is it a water? And what? We are wet. Or what? Oh, the tiny little poof effect. Did anybody else think this light reminds them of those weird, like, vacuum tube things they have at some, uh, drive, drive through banks? Where you put your money in a tube and it sucks it up to the, to the bank tellers. That's what that light kind of reminds me of. Those were always fun. I don't want to put weird things in and be like, did you get that thing I sent you? Wait, what's it crap for the... Wasn't that a famous line that was overused from a guy in, uh... Harvey Birdman, a tree log. That's it. Did you get that thing I sent you? I'm always asking that. But yeah, this smells pretty nice. But moving on, because, um... What was down here? What is this? Oh, it's a buckshot roulette. I don't know how buckshot roulette works. Oh, the thing is a two-player thing. It sounds like a weird... Like, I don't know. When you think about it, buckshot roulette makes no sense. And of course, the reason being, it's a shotgun. Like, it's pretty easy to tell. But anyway, we'll just, uh, kind of hang around here for a little bit with, um, dirt room. We want to call him Gertrude because Molly's overdone. We'll call you, um... We'll call you... Yeah, I, I'm kind of leaning toward Gertrude, but he doesn't really have a Gertrude face. Um... Carl. It's Carl. This is, this is Carl. He's kind of an idiot, but we love Carl. Anyway, yesterday's... <laughs> Tell of Satan challenge went totally fine. It was... I mean, yeah, there was nervous, but it, but it all worked out in the end because... Well, he got through it. He went 6 minutes and 21 seconds. Which is still a minute and 20 over the challenge limit. But he, um... His notes for it afterward were... It is definitely a challenge people can do. But he wouldn't advise people going much longer than the challenge time limit. Because what he said was, there is a re you could tell there is a reason they pick five minutes for its time limit. And that would be, I don't want, he, he thinks that it has the exact same of um, pe uh, pepper extract oil as say like the gummy bear and the, uh, the uh, chocolate bar. He thinks they have the same amount. Uh, there we go. Anyway, he thinks they have the same amount of pepper extract oil. Which means they should be the exact same amount of spice. The big difference for why they picked it that way is when you eat the gummy bear or the, or the chocolate bar, you're getting it all at once, and it goes into your stomach very quickly. 
and caused stomach cramps. Of course, she got stomach cramps yesterday from the, uh, the cinnamon lollipop or, you know, toe of Satan. But what he experienced was it's much more prolonged because it's hard candy. So you have to absolutely dissolve the entire thing instead of eating it and getting it down, which means more of those oils are going to seep into your mouth and into your throat and into your stomach. Well, they could all seep in the same way. But he, he, he did also take it on an empty stomach. This is something, don't do a spicy food challenge on an empty stomach. It will hurt a lot. But he didn't say because you're having to melt it down in your mouth. Don't try to do the whole, the whole, uh, total Satan lollipop because it does feel like if you try to do that and go longer than like six or so minutes, um, Pain tolerance can only do so much for you before it actually starts feeling like it's doing things to your body that just aren't good. The stomach cramps were quite severe. He did not throw up, though. He did not throw up. But there was a significant amount of pain. The pain in his stomach was higher than in his mouth and throat. But had he gone even longer, that would have gotten to the, the unbearable levels, is what he said. So, he, it, it, we would say it, it is a challenge that's doable. But she the advice of the creators of it, of doing five minutes for the challenge. Which means you can do the challenge more than once. If you wash it off a little, and then like seal it up and put it somewhere, you'll have more for the challenge at a later time. What you what's this? Oh, it's it's cool. Oh, it's fun. Oh, let it get at me. Oh, pain spawn. Wow, where'd it go, Tara? But yes, they they chose five minutes for a reason. Any any longer than that's like even the six minutes that he did, the pain levels are going to be a little too high for your average spicy food Ellen Take her honor, but. He was still surprised he got through it because he was expecting a high degree of difficulty and he also hadn't done any spicy, really spicy foods. <sighs> when did he do the chocolate bar? Did he do that in January? Or did he do that in March? But all, all the way back since the chocolate bar, it was the last time he did anything super spicy. So that way he had some degree of concern was the fact it was as spicy as it is. And, and of course, having not done it in a long time and having to let it sit there in his mouth. But, yeah, if, if you're not acclimated or familiar with spicy food challenges, just don't do it. Do not do that one. The one chip challenge is, is gone. In fact, Tara's a little bummed out when it comes to the one chip challenge. He did learn that Pocky is not bringing it back at all. Period. They're done. And by the look of it, I think Taki's just gone. Like, I don't think they make their chips at all anymore. It, it's hard to tell. I can't find any, um, anything concrete in the news. I can't find any news articles, but I, I don't really see their chips anymore. But I can't find anything for why we don't. But by the look of it, Taki's just, they, they ceased operations completely. It's a bummer. We loved the one chip challenge. It was it was fun. It was really, really hard. But Baki also made some of the best tasting tortilla chips. They made really good tor tasting tortilla chips. And were among the higher quality of tortilla chips on the standard, you know, snack market. So you were bummed out about that. But we if you wore these spicy challenges, they still have hot ones being um, their entire line, so you can actually acclimate yourself through their line of hot sauces, but they have experience, they have the Triple X, they have the Apollo. We suggest experience sauce when you're familiar with doing spicy food challenges. So there's that, there's the world's hottest chocolate bar, there is the world's hottest gummy bear, there's the Total Satan, and I and another one we haven't tried, so we'll see if we can find it. And do it is uh, the death nut challenge, which is just the world's thoughtest peanut. Which sounds very interesting. We hope it has a tough flavor because that's the other thing. 
We give bonus points to spicy food challenges when they have a ton of flavor. And that's why the chocolate bar got so many high points. And the gummy bear got negative points. Because it was gross. It tasted like... Unflavored gelatin. And pepper extract oil. There was nothing good about it. It was gross. But if you're unfamiliar with doing spicy food challenges, do not start with the toe of Satan. The toe. That is the, that is the um, best advice we can give people. If you want to try it, make sure you're familiar with spicy food challenges. And even if you're... If you have some experience with spicy food challenges, stick to just the challenge rules on the back of the box being five minutes. Don't be overly daring and try to go through the whole thing because not even Tara did. After he took it out of his mouth yesterday, and what he felt, he said, Okay, that, that's it for the day. Don't need to try to do any more. He did not try to eat the whole, the whole entire candy because it would hurt. But, yeah, I apologize for rambling, but there was some information we had to get out. It was. And there was, there was nothing else, though, so we covered the TV remote, which uh, is really, really um, annoying. And we covered... the food. But really, now that we've gotten through that, we've gotten through 300 days, 300 days, but now it's day 301, of course. 301 days completely sober. There are 66 days left in this month. No, not this month, that would be weird. 66 days left in the year. So 66 days left this year, which means 66 days to completing the challenge. Tara and I are currently in talks of what challenge we will do next. We have agreed this project will be will end at the end of the year. This project itself, the daily vlog, this is specific for the sobriety challenge. And once we get to the end of the year, the project is done, so we have to think of other things to do. We are in discussion of starting a new challenge, January 1st, 2025. And, um, we haven't fully decided on what to do. We have an idea of what we want to do, but we're not going to be discussing that openly until it comes closer to time. And part of that is we expect this next one to, in other ways, be far more difficult than this sobriety challenge. Which, this, this challenge for us has been difficult, because our, fa our favorite thing is drinking carbonated beverages. Tara really, really likes his beer. He likes beer a, 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 a whole heap. He really likes the taste of beer, and he likes the feeling of it. Not because of the, of the, the, the it's not that. It, it's, he likes the carbonation, and he does like the flavors that come with various beers. He loves beer tasting, but we have decided that once this project is done, we are not going to go back to drinking at all. So we're we're just gonna we're just gonna cut that out of our lives. And and of course, reason being, we don't want to celebrate by having a drink. Even when we made it to the final day, you know, celebrate Happy New Year, we made it to all this time sober, have a toast, kind of think we're not gonna do that. No. And then again, the reason is. We have a feeling if we do that, we're going to sink ourselves back into the habit of drinking all the time. And to be completely honest, it's, it, it scares us. It, it, we are scared that if we even allow ourselves the opportunity, then we're going to fall back into that pattern. And we don't want that. We want to keep improving ourselves. And next year, what we do know we want to do is we want to add a new challenge. We want to work two challenges. The no cursing challenge is going to remain because we are trying not to curse in front of our children and we're trying to make, we're trying to set an example for our kids of not cursing, having decent communication skills, make sure that, you know, Buttercup's doing her homework properly, you know, just, you know, just doing what parents need to do. And having fun, of course, because we're not going to tell, we're not going to teach our, our children to be prudes. We're not doing that because we don't like being a prude either. Even though well, when I was on IMU for all for all these years, we have some friends on there that called me the old bag. I was the old bag. On top of that, they also called me a soccer mom. I don't think I'm soccer mom material, but okay. I, I'll take you. I mean, at least I, I'm at least I'm not a parent. 
I'll take soccer long before Karen. Yeah, well, I didn't really have any Karen behaviors. What? We are, we're looking at possibly two challenges to add on. The no cursing stays there, but that, that counter does get reset because that is a swear jar. That's what goes into the children's fund. And we're, we're just looking at what that number is going to be. Is it going to be like... We're, we're deciding if it's $10 per curse word or $5 per curse word. I'm kind of leaning toward 5 but then that still seems a little bit low for them. And... Yeah, we're just gonna do swear jars. We don't have to worry about doing that with the kids. That'll eventually happen. Because we don't want Buttercup to start cursing, especially around Sweet Pea, because Sweet Pea's only three. Sweet Pea's three. Buttercup's ten. Ten is too young to be cursing anyway, but you still don't want to start teaching your younger sibling cursing. My goodness. I, uh, we are like our parents, aren't we? Well, almost like our parents. A bad thing. But... That'll come along. We'll decide what two challenges we want to add for next year. However, the no drinking challenge itself, that project will be done, which means the, um, the playlist that we have for the, uh, daily vlog journey, I guess, will end with 366, or... Well, we'll... I'll check it again, but it ends on July... Or not July, sorry. It ends December 31st, 2024. We will not be adding more to it on January 1st, 2025. There will be a new playlist that we'll have up. But we still have a, a hearty just over two months before we have before we have to worry about that. So we still have we still have two months to worry. Or to think about that. But we'll have a new playlist. And we are looking at what other projects we can add to it because we I mean we, we don't like rambling for everyone, but we we do want to add some other things on. We, we tried earlier in the year to add some stuff, but it kind of got in the way of making sure that these up videos came up on time every single day because the challenge with it with not drinking was still we have to upload every day to keep ourselves focused in. I will, I will admit that was it. That was a really, really good decision to make sure that we were still uploading every day. Had we not done that, there was a higher likelihood we would have started drinking again. So, I do have to give my thanks to you two for even getting in, for letting us stay focused without an arbitrary ban. Because I don't think we've done anything worthy of being banned arbitrarily. I do have some concerns with some past videos. But I still tried to make sure they were tame, but there are things in- maybe there was something in a video somewhere that somewhere along the line they're gonna say is a TOS violation that I had no idea about. It happens. But I am thankful that YouTube has given us the opportunity to put these videos out, whether people watch them or not. Because these videos aren't, they aren't exactly for everyone else, unless you see that as a means of, hey, maybe I can do it too. If you were to do a no drinking challenge, Doing something like this, it's, it's an immense amount of help. It helps so much. So I am thankful to YouTube for giving us the opportunity to keep ourselves focused on a project and allow us to start improving upon ourselves in this, in this form. So I'm thankful for that. But we still need to consider what will our next playlist be. And I, I still think... We want to be uploading every single day, because it's fun. I can't give guarantees on that, and a big part of that is Buttercup School is getting- will start getting more difficult by then. It's to be expected. You have to learn more. You have to challenge yourself more. Sweet Pea is, in, is getting older. She, she's communicating more, which means she needs to learn more things, too. But, and we, 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 we do know we want to keep our kids off the camera as much as possible. I just see reasons, of course. It's, it's natural. But when all that is done and said, I want to figure out what projects we're going to do after this. I'm still going to be here in VR chat because we all know it is way too fun being in here. It is absolutely fun. I mean, look at Carl here. He'd be sad if we are gone. But again, Carl, I'm pretty sure you're only going to be here for a little bit longer. Like, I'm pretty sure you're going to be here for another week, maybe two weeks, and then you got to find a new home, Carl. Anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed their Sunday. I'm feeling quite, quite good. I just have to figure out what, I'm, what we're going to make for the kids for dinner tonight. Something very, very simple. 
And of course, we're gonna relax. We're gonna get this up for everyone. We want you to enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Remember, it is still October 27th, 2024. The 301. We are making such amazing progress with this. Feel great. But please, everyone, take care of yourselves, of your family members. Keep them in your thoughts because this is a very strange, these are strange times we live in. So with these strange times, make them as happy as you can. Take care of yourselves. I'm happy you dropped by and we will see you all tomorrow on Monday. So long, everyone. Ta-ta. I have to go.